Bell. Joining me today, as usual, is Christina, and also Christina's sibling, Aaron. Hi. Together, they are of the channel Retro Kindred, where they play retro games and talk about it. Check them out. They're currently playing Zelda Link's Awakening, the remake. Right? Yeah. Ah. As I said, we're opening Everdell today. We did a little retail therapy today. Uh, saw some cute animals <laughs> on a box and decided to buy it. Mainly, I'm just really excited about, about, I don't know if you could see it, about these acorns. That's what I'm most excited about. So let us begin. Dun, dun, dun. Remember kids, get away from you unless you know what you're doing. It's ironic because this is where we film Retro Kindred stuff. And it's never been on camera before. This is some of our stuff a little bit. Not the main focus. Oh, it was the banner. I know. It's a nice banner. No banner. Turtle. Oh. oh, the best part. I like the smell. Oh. Is it oh. nice? It has the... More of the... It has the... It has the smell of the games that are usually based on animals and forests. That type of smell. It doesn't smell like a sci-fi board game box. It smells like a, like a, there might be animals in this game. Box. Right? Yeah. It has like mm -hmm. a... You know what it smells like? It smells like, like early elementary school workbooks. Paper and plastic. It has like a very clean workbook smell. Uh, this That's book... That's pretty much it. <laughs> this book smells amazing. Yeah, do that first. Man, I never wanted to do a workbook in my life, but I really do right now. Smelling that, wow. Alright, we have the rules of play. It's a lot of words. I was going to read them. I'm not. Overview. In Everdell, you will be deploying workers to various locations on the board in order to gather resources, which you will use to play cards face up in front mm -hmm. of you, forming your own woodland city. Cute. This also smells great, and we'll just put this on the floor. We'll put that on the floor. We have space, but we're a little cramped, so we're making do. We'll do this together, okay? Ooh. Okay. okay. We're going to put this all on the floor. A <laughs> uh, little booklet, advertising games. Oh, okay, cool. You, are you checking the chat? What? One viewer? It's probably me. I don't know. Some board here. Ooh. Oh, that's a quality... Okay, there's some damage to the board. But that's some quality... Uh... There is. Yeah, a little bit of damage there. It's okay. Oh, okay. That's... That's... It's a little sad, but... That's nice. Oh, it's pretty. It feels nice. It's it's lightly textured. Yeah. Mm. And as usual, let's, let's give it a smell. <laughs> smells like a board game. The YouTubers always do like taste tests, like blindfold yeah. taste tests. What if somebody did like a blindfold smell? Like, what game is this? Smell it. <laughs> All right, and here we have the Ever Tree, according to this instructiones. So, doesn't really look like it's that much effort to assemble, which is nice. We'll do that. You want, you want to do the honor, son? You want to assemble the ever tree? Oh wait, there's more ever tree pieces here. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, when when Christine and I were children, we had a Hercules game, and the thing I remember about the Hercules game was it was 3D. That the board was like layers. Yeah. And that kind of is this sort of thing. Yeah, uh, I play. I used to play with the 3D shoots and ladders back in the day. Oh, look at this! Ooh. I need a place to put these. I know. Hold on. Sorry. Um, I wanted to show how nice this I is. I can put extras on that over there if you want me to. Yeah. Just slide them in. 
Yeah. I'll put these. Because we're going to go through the cards now. Yep. The cards. Tell me when you're ready for another page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tree goes up there probably, huh? Yeah, the tree goes up the top. Nice. This is a pretty nice insert. Oh, the mini cards. Not the sturdiest, but we'll get the job done. We got mini cards. They are tiny. Got a whole bunch of cards. There's the gems I was really excited for. Ooh. Got some burries. Burries. Got some logs. Ooh. Got some bags. Look Got some oh, stones. Oh, go ahead. The little blueberry details. We have a, an eight-sided die. And all the little animals we got. Bunnies, white bunnies. Reddish squiggles. Bluish turtles. And brown. Is that a hedgehog? Oh, the red ones are squirrels. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. I said squiggles. I thought you said squiggles. Yeah, I said squiggles. Squiggles. It's from the book Red Wall. Oh. Where the where the toddler squirrel can't say squirrel. Beetles. Alright. Um Aaron, if you wanna un mm -hmm. Should I get scissors? Yeah, but there, there's a tear. Oh there is a I There's a tear right there. They're, they're the whole top. Of oh, shoot. You're right. Terrible. Mm. I'm going to put the squat here on the floor as I do. All right. Full size cards. Mm. Oh, you Those know. Those look so cute. You know, board game makers love us when they give us these little pull tabs on these decks. Like the gum packs. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Is this just for gems? I have no idea. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, they're probably for the cards, too, maybe. But since we got we bought sleeves, we'll have to deal with them. And like I said, dear viewers, oh, if anyone's them. actually watching, we have no idea how to play this game. But it's a worker placement. We'll learn really fast. We have experience. Sometimes it's fun to play a game that you don't really know yet. Well, I, I also can catch on the games like super fast. You do. Very fast. Um, you want to pop? Yeah, if you, sure. want, if you want to pop a page, go ahead. One of the first times I played a game with, with Joe was um, I, ha I got Alchemists for Christmas. Or my birthday or something. Similar to... My birthday's close to Christmas. And uh, none of us had played it before, but Joe and I had at least heard about it and knew the general layout. And Joe caught on so quickly. That was when I first realized, like, yeah, that's that's a skill, for sure. Time to celebrate. Here's to the greatest builder of the city in all of Everdell. Erect a memorial to your victory. Take a selfie with the other side of this card and share it with us. It smells like a board game card. It's not as unexciting of a smell. Okay, so all the backs are the same, so my worry about that is not much. OG Pokemon-ish. We got a beaver, but the card says crane on it. Wait, what? We got resin in refinery. Ooh. Chip sweep. We got skunk on the fairgrounds. Oh, we have an adorable bat. Aww. That's a historian. I guess I can. It's adorable. It's adorable. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was right. This unboxing isn't going to take long. But you can watch us sleeve them. And badgers, 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 king. Minor mole. Adorable peddler. Postal pigeon. The queen, oh, look at that queen. Ever tree, ever tree. Something, something, something. Yeah, I'm really glad I bought sleeves. These aren't the, the material of these cards aren't the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're better than they're standard. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. Tiny cards. 
I've never seen that size. Yeah. You're about to see a buttload of them later today. Oh, okay, cool. Like, at least 200 of them. Oh, okay. I don't know what these cards are. Are I they know. stockier or are they the same material as They're these the ones? same material. Oh, okay. They smell the same. Shopkeeper port. Oh, these are the actual buildings. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. That's it. If you guys want, do you guys want to touch these? Let's touch, let's touch the pieces. Touch the logs? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Christmas. I mean, Christina. Here. <laughs> it's your Christmas present. Swap <laughs> logs. <laughs> The, yeah, you have to re-gift it to him. Did you give me? I know, I'm touching first. Okay, did you give me a <laughs> present? Did you give me a present? You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, there's instructions. Okay. These are the feet. Yep. And they go this way. Okay, those are the logs. Oh, these, these. Oh, yeah, I want to eat these. Forbidden candies. Forbidden candy. I'm bad at checking chat. I didn't check chat yesterday during build up. Somebody was like, hey, how are you guys? And I didn't see it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, you should get a, um, a boom arm monitor stand so you can just clip it to here and just swing it out in front oh. of you. Oh. We'll let Christina put on the next bit if there's a next bit. Mm -hmm. You have to slide the big leaf part on top. To this part. On um, where? Like right as you're facing it, right over top. It, do you see these? Like yeah, here? this yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, keep going. Do you want to do it right here? Push it real good. Oh, don't push it all the way because I mean we got to take it home still. Are we not? We're just not. We're just opening. We're just opening. Right, oh, okay. Today. Well, we might play it later today. There's a chance. Yeah, I want to break it. I mean, you can always try flipping it over too. I mean, that's an option. I think it's just, oops, I think it's just extra flexible because it's you know, stock board type thing. What the heck is that? Hun, you know how I always say, if we have kids, I'm gonna throw them in the air. This is what you're gonna feel like. What I'm feeling right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it slides more down, yeah. right? I just want to show for the okay, camera. There we go. Oh, that's cute. There we go. There we go. This one will be easier. I'm never going to want to take that apart now, though. It's like the dice roller I got for, um, what's that game? Hun? Here to Slay. I've never taken apart the dice roller, even though we don't even need it. Yeah, why is this so tight? You know what I did for my Catan? My Catan was, um, I had the, the hexagons and they were kind of bowing. I took a, a nail file, a metal nail file, and I just gently got got some of the cardboard away. Yeah, some of the, yeah, this needs to be filed. That's yeah, you're going to file some of that, especially that one. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm James Hallett of board games. <laughs> that's, right, that's Wolverine. Mm -hmm. He's... He's 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 the best at what he does. You kind of are, at least of anybody I've ever oh, met. Go here. On on those little slides. Hey. Where's the instructions? Give me the instructions. That literally last piece. Oh yeah, go at an angle. Oh. Get dressed. You gotta get dressed for the ball. See what happens when you follow the instructions. I never followed the instructions. It's not even on camera. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Kachow. It is cute. Yeah. All right. Let's leave. Okay. I guess. I want to feel the rocks. You feel the rocks, the pebbles, the stones. Oh, we we need to baggie these guys up too. Mm. Okay. Small chance we might need to get another baggie. Cause I don't know why they didn't give us a baggie. Yeah, these are berries. I have bags with line. With well, text yeah. On. Get all the numbers in one. 
and oh we're good all the numbers and little barrels in the one and then everything else in the other who wants to sleeve the little parts i do i've never seen the little cards before yeah that's much yeah Christina was supposed to do little cards with me when I did Zombie Side, but she, I think you were playing video games. No, you were playing video games instead? No, I was watching stuff on my phone. Watching stuff with your friends. Okie dokie sleeving cards. Uh, so, this is, I've never bought side loading cards in before. Okay. okay. So, this will be interesting. I'm worried about shuffling side loading cards. Should I sleeve in or bottom up? What's your game? All of them in. Uh, all of them with the thing at the top except for one. I'm not joking. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you mean the fold at the top or the opening? The, at the opening top? at the top except for one. Except for one. Like in the zombie side? Like I said, there's 200 some cards. Uh -huh. One of them's upside down. Okay. You want to do the honors? You have to put that one in with the opening at the bottom. Opening? No, opening at the top. Oh, no, I, no I wait to the end of the pile to do it. Oh, okay. All right, let me do this stack here. So what, how am I doing this? Like you would with magic cards. Opening okay, at the wait. top. Where's the instructions? I want to make sure that, like, all the, are all the cards one deck? Or... Yes, okay, good. Set up. Place the board on the table. Place the tree. Place the twigs. Shuffle the forest cards and place them... Reverse. One victory card, forest card, 128 critter and construct cards. Okay, looks like all these cards don't get divided up. Oh, I don't like these sleeves. I've been bamboozled. And I keep forgetting they're side loading. Ooh, they are? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's snug. Snug, baby. It's nice and toy. Okay, these are like super snug. Which at first seems gross. But I'm kind of excited about. Because that means that... Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I should have... I don't know how I feel about that. These are very slippery. I really don't know how I feel about this. Okay. I like how snug it is. It's just there's so much there's so much at the end there. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like we're gonna be roughing these cards. I mainly get the sleeves for shuffling purposes, because I hate it when people bridge shuffle board game cards. I'm pushing these down mostly into the... Into yeah, the yeah, push them as far as you can. It's fine. Yeah, that was pretty matte. Yeah, I got... I, yeah, he, they had mul they, ha they have a good board game section uh, for sleeves. Like, just for s board games. They upped their ante, too. Yeah. Since I, I mean, it, it's been I, like a year since I've been I grabbed, I grabbed these sleeves from the Magic the Gathering sleeve section. I should have went to the board game section. It's just the board game section had more expensive. They were fifty cents more expensive, so I was right. just like, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to pay three dollars. No, I would have had to buy three packs at three dollars instead of two packs at three dollars. So I, I would have had to pay nine dollars instead of six dollars. So all these cards that are sideways face, yeah, okay. This is gonna take a while. I hope we like this enough so we can go get the expansion also. I like the card art. Like that's very um it is one of the reasons we got the game. Well designed. Like I don't know if you saw the card on the back of it too. Oh. Adorable. 
Wait, oops. The whole time I've been sleeping, I've been looking at this clock tower card. And just... The... Very... Very nice. Concise. Clear. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, this is a barge toad, and I kind of love the fact that his name is Barge Toad. It's just a guy doing his job. Okay, guess what, Kia? Oh, this is this is, this is Luke Evans Toad. We right have there. two. We have two sleeves. These are gems. Yeah, those are the gems. Touch you up. you get the honors of putting that one in backwards. Sleeve on the thing on the bottom. Hole on the bottom, yeah. Yeah, when you guys are done with those, just... Okay. Back inside is packaging. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 are these the same as I bought? <clears throat> Here's our garbage. But now it's, it's looking this way instead of... This way. But the point is the hole's upside down, so it'll look the oh. same way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just do that so when people are playing it, I can be like, boom, there's chances. So, so you just do that to mess with people. Mm, yeah, I just do it to mess like with me. people. Okay, these sleeves are a little big, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, these cards are so pretty. Are these all the same, or some of them... I want to say... They're not all the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was about to shuffle the entire deck. Oh. These are just smidgen too big. So That's these are locations. Oh, they're so pretty. Of course the squirrel would run the storehouse. You can open that. We're gonna need a hundred and we're gonna need over a hundred anyway, so. Alright, so you side load and we're loading from the uh the right side is the open side. Yeah, okay. It there it's a snug snug fit. Penny sleeves, yeah. Oh it is. It's okay. super I actually really like that. Right side and Yeah yeah. Right side's the open side. I really like how tight they are though. So, so I'm guessing you build these because the clock yeah. tower says three wood and a stone. Yeah, you you, you use the material. That's you, the worker placement, and then you play the cards. Oh. Courthouse is a gem, a stone, two stones, and a wood. I don't know what your experience with worker placement games is. Um. What? I played. Is terraforming Mars worker placement? No, it's not. No. It's re it's more resource management. Yeah, it's resource management. Um, yeah, we like those, right? Yeah, we like resource management. I think we like work placement a little bit more. I played. Is it Carcassonne? Carcassonne is with the little men. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's. Uh, I wouldn't call that. I played that with you guys. I wouldn't really call that work. We almost bought that today too, since we don't have a physical copy of our own. There are lots of additions, aren't there? Yeah. Like different flavors of the game. Yeah, there's different flavors, but I mean. OG is best, and the OG sure. and the original comes with the first expansion for free now, anyway. Oh, the Beavers of Architect. The dungeon's an old rotted log, an old rotted uh, tree stump. I mean, come on, I can't get this. The Ever Tree is expensive. Unique construction, three, three, and three. But it looks like it multiplies some kind of points, so that's fair. Yeah, so I think it's I think I read it online. We're each building our own little town, which is which is funny because I was looking at that other board game, Tiny Towns, which is you are building a town in the forest for little woodland critters. Hmm. Just the aesthetic was a little bit more like Studio Ghibli town in the forties. Did you see the doctor? Oh. Wait, am I putting these in one pile? No, there's no, there's it's one pile. Okay. Oh, okay. They all go together. 
And if not, I'll sort through them. I love these backgrounds. Common construction, unique construction. Farm, farm, farm. So it's funny, we call, I'm used to hearing the word common and thinking the opposite of rare, but in reality, common means more or less like shared, right? Like the definition also. So I wonder if these cards are given one to each player or if one player can build multiple farms. Just curious, because there's unique and common, which seem like they're using the other definition than rare and common. Do. Not sure. But Just I, curious. Also, at the bottom of this card, it says husband and wife, and there's a, a, <gasps> a little married couple. It does. They're Marcy's. And then we could go. I don't know if I'm actually aiming at the camera <laughs> or if the stream's even still going. But... I wonder if, like, at the end, you get points for your population or something. Probably. No, oh no, no, because there's nothing to track population. Oh, okay. It does totally say husband and wife. This one says shopkeeper. It's a rabbit. He's a rabbit. I wonder if the gem means like electricity. I think the gem, I think the gems are victory points. Hmm. Yeah, the gems are definitely victory points because I'm not seeing them on any of the cards. And you're saying like flavor wise. Oh, like the, the, Wait, are we talking the orange ones or the purple ones? Orange ones. These Purples are berries, are berries right? Okay. Yeah, these must be victory points, unless they're showing up on a card. They're showing up, it looks like how you build things. Okay, then they're another Maybe resource. it's like electricity or fire, yeah. like that kind of thing. I don't know. Because they're side loading, are they going to shuffle from the side as well? So, no, they're not. So we're going to have to shuffle like it's a normal deck card, which makes me a little happier. I like that this inn is snowy. The inn is in the snow. It's so pretty. Do we know the max number of players? One to four players. Are there four inns? Probably. I think there's four of each card. One, two, three. No, yeah. there's only three inns? There might be. There is a good chance that. Do you have an inn? I just did one. Is that one there? No. Oh, okay. okay, then there might just be three. So then they probably aren't aren't one for each they're probably just shared. Play this fool into an empty space in an opponent's city. The game that we played last time, Joe, when Christina was at work. The little I don't even remember what it was called. But with the um the map that's semi randomized and the the, the location like you have different movement things where you have like a horse and a boat and then oh uh, the little uh, items uh, that was, uh, that was a, a tiny epic that was kind of fun Just, yeah i think i have that in right next to me do i sorry i do not i have with me dead of winter the long night i have with me Zombie side, which I'm not going to dig out because there's, there's a lot of parts. Coo. Hmm. Here to slay. And. Onitama. Here to slay looks familiar. Yeah, we played it once. Uh, take five or six oh, yeah. nymphs. Okay. The one we played with Grammy. I know, why'd you call it six? Because that's because it was that's it was a German game. Oh. Spyfall! Them Germans in their board game again. Look at that all stuff. I thought oh, I got the book for Dungeon World in here, apparently I don't. Gardens! Wait. Resin refinery. Gain one. It's oh, resin. it's resin. I just don't understand why it came in a different bag. Yeah. Wait, what? Why oh. it came in a different style bag. Oh, we still, need, we still need to back up all the coins and shite. I like that some of these, some of them are like winter, some of them are spring, some of them are, are fall, and some of them are winter. Summer, spring, winter, fall. Yeah, I think on top I of the tree, it's different. 
There's things different happening. Things happen in oh, no, different seasons, order? I okay. think. Oh, ooh. Maybe this might become my new favorite board game. I mean, you should play more board games with Liz, then. She always buys these cute little Animal Critter board games. She loves them. I do, too, because of the Redwall books, but... Sure. Sure. Teacher's a crow. Yeah. With a little bow, uh, not bow tie. What's it called? Like the uh, lapel and the and the necktie. Collar. What is this? Yep, squirrel storehouse. <gasps> the husband. Who spawned it? Gain one. Falls out of hand. Food. If paired with a wife and you have at least one farm in your city. You're making the missus proud. This is what the card says. Is there flavor text on? Okay, let me have this one. <laughs> oh, it's a little squirrel storehouse. Mm -hmm. It's a wood carver as the person. Ooh, the theater has a bard. Yeah, the bird. <laughs> is it a bird? I think it's a bird. It's what a bird a bard. Bird. Let me see. The bard is a yellow bird. Oh, oh, one of the first cards I did was the bard. Oh, so you put those people with the buildings or something. Yeah, ah, the I husband see. goes on the farm with the wife. Twig barge into wood. A little bit of a Catan type thing. Wood. Sheep. Wood for sheep. The university. Oops. Discard critter or destruction from your city. Gain resources equal to that cost. I want the font on these. It's good font. Excuse me. The, uh... I forget the word. I'm afraid if I put those on top, it'll slide, so there you go. We ain't done. Okay. <laughs> Are we sleeping this one? Yeah, I'm gonna do that one last. Oh, critters! Oh, it's a little badger guy. Badger, 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 badger. badger, badger. badger. <laughs> He's cute. He's a little beard. I know. He's cute. It's just when I think of badgers, I think of the badger... The, in the first Redwall book, the badger was the like the den mother of Redwall Abbey, and she just kicks all the bad guys' butts. King. She's super buff. Badgers kind of kick butt, don't they? Yeah. In general. Yeah. Especially them honey badgers. Because mm -hmm. honey badgers don't give a fuck. I was gonna post this on on oh, I'm sorry. Facebook, but now that's not happening. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's cool. I was just repeating a meme. I didn't mean to. I, I know. I was hinting at the meme. He's he's one. Yeah, I did. Kind of, yeah. He he did like the F. I straight up swore. No, I don't care, actually. <laughs> it's still getting posted on YouTube. Nope. No one's going to get this far in the video. I will say though, compared to all my other YouTube videos, the uh, zombie side unboxings has the most views by far. It has like five times more views than everything else. No. I think. Jesus, I didn't want to... <laughs> I felt so stupid doing that because my brain was. It has. Working. Last I checked, it had 122 views, which is pretty nice compared to like the five, six I got. So way more than five times more. See, that was the problem with these sleeves was I couldn't tell if they were textured or not. They are not, but it's okay. Postal pigeon. Does he have goggles? He has goggles! He does. Oh, sorry. Ooh, it's okay. Yeah, it, the card's fine. It was more of a glance than a bend.
Man, can you imagine being like an owl or something, and your king and queen are freaking mice? <laughs> I know, Food. right? Look, she's cute. The queen. It's a ranger, baby. Are you a fox? Ding, 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 ding. The shuffling has begun. Shepherd. Hmm? Shepherd. Shopkeeper. Again, I thought we already did shop. I thought you guys already did shopkeeper. No, on a card. It listed him on the bottom. Oh. Okay, the actual people have little quotes. Yeah. Come again and bring your friends, mm -hmm. if you have any. Oh. This is not my view of, of, of hairs in, of, of, of hairs in, in the red wall books. They're very militant. Mm. And then in the real world, they're, they're demons. What? Hairs are demons. Rabbits are cute. Hairs are demons. The undertaker's like a beetle. Is it He's shoveling they're... poop. Yeah, because he rolls poop. Uh, Wanderer is a Oops. gecko. Lizard. Gecko? Yeah. yeah, what are those things called? I know it looks like. It just looks like a straight up gecko. Yeah. Uh, the beetle and his, his horns look a lot like the beetles from... Uh, well, not just the beetles. The characters from... Uh, how, how old are no, what am I thinking? What's that game that you don't like? Hollow. Metro Van yeah, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, yeah. You're right. They have the... Yeah, they have the... They have the I mean, that's because it's Beatles. <laughs> yeah. I love Hollow Knight. It's so... right. It knows what it's good at. It knows what it's doing. It's got enough flavor, but it doesn't beat you over with story. It's, I just oh, don't like Metroid so games. I know you do. Oh, it's so but you do like watching me play Ori. I like watching see, people I, play them, but I myself see I didn't very frustrated. I couldn't get into Ori. It was it was a little too floaty and too whimsical. It's I love the platforming in that game. Makes me feel like a complete BA anytime I get past the platforming puzzle. I like Celeste for that. For those kinds of games. Celeste not, is good. Yeah. Not that I because honestly, I've only played the first chapter and a half of the first Ori game. When it was on the second one's really, 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 really good. Is it? Okay. I used to play this one flash game way back in the day. Um like those uh called N and N plus. Oh you play yeah. a ninja, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the spiritual successor to that game is that one. I forget what it's called. Where you play janitors with brooms and you gotta sweep up places. Really good. Uh, can you put that clock tower in backwards, please? This one? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, okay. I will do this one backwards. Oh, you're doing it the right way. There's one more. Oh, okay, okay. You did one of the others, didn't you? I know. Okay. Do I give that a shuffle? All right, it's in backwards. Cool. My arms hurt from lifting them up over the table. Can I give that a shuffle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you can, yeah, you can give it a side. That's why, that's the main reason I buy sleeves, so I can just shove them together like this. Smoosh. I just smoosh them. Budge. It is difficult though. Yeah, you're gonna have to go from short end if you're That's gonna if you're gonna summer. smoosh. Yeah. I um my friend. 
So I have ADHD, and I tend to not think before I talk. Just and those yep. together. Uh, I was at my friend Josh's house, and it was his fiance and his son were there, um, and his son was quite young at the time. Young enough that if you swear around him, it, it really doesn't matter, but you don't want to be a, a sailor because eventually he'll repeat it. And um, I, I don't know, I probably said like shit or damn or something. And they were like, we don't say those words around here, we say pickle. I go, oh, pickle. Pickle's a good word to swear. I will say something about how punchy it is. Pickle. Yeah, so I should start, I should start saying pickle more. Oh, pickle. I mean, sh- uh, shuffle them together. Oh, I'm sorry. And then cut it and then shuffle it with Christina's. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think Josh and I were playing Rocket League, and he really likes the... Um, I wouldn't say I played Rocket League competitively, but I played more of, like, the online, whereas Josh played the party modes, where, like, you have the power-ups. Like, the... He called it the... It, not butt magnet, but butt plunger, where you can drag the ball behind you and like the one you can summon a tornado and all that stuff. And I never really played that. I knew what they did because I'd seen like things online. This is coming to Rocket League, but it kicked my butt. So that's that's why I said the word that they mean they wanted me to replace with pickle. Butt plungered me, Rocket League. Here you go. Alright. How many bags are left? Two more. Okay. We don't need sleeves anymore. Huh? Nope. <laughs> what are these? No idea. There's a boat. There's a statue or rock monument. And there's a tent. Tent. Is this a junky piece? Yes, that was part of the tree. Well, it's getting it's put inside one of the bags. All right, um, money, Why? money in barrels. Oh, is it the old Wait, one? no. Uh, these population? Maybe we do check population. These are little doors. <gasps> these are little hobbit hole doors. Oh, uh, they're barrels. I thought they were barrels too, like but barrel if you look or... closer, they're little hobbit doors. <gasps> All right, uh, yeah, money and hobbit doors in one bag and. Those in the dice in the other. Wait, you want to do hobbit doors? I put the sleeve away. Don't. That's the only part that's get mixed up in with the rest. Okay. Every time we said shopkeeper, my brain kept going, Common is stonekeeper. <laughs> and LeBron James is Kwan Yi. I was surprised. In Hollow Knight, speaking of Hollow Knight, there's that lady, the like tall, skinny bug lady, who sells you stuff. Mm-hmm. And she always goes, Bompanada. And uh, apparently that's like a meme. Like I was somewhere else, I was like, oh, other people repeat that too. Every time she'd go in there, she'd say, Bompanada. I'm just I'm gonna set up the board to see what it looks like at least when we set it up. So the tree goes here. Cards. Oh. Oh. Those cards, if they can. <gasps> what? Really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. The cards go in the crack at the tree. Like this. Jump just said, watch. Look. If they can. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, please. I wanna okay. play this. We will eventually. Uh, place twigs. Oh. That's so satisfying. That's so pickling Place satisfying. twigs, resin, pebbles, and berries in piles along the bank of the river. <gasps> yep, here, here, no, here, here, and here. Do it, just so we see what it looks like. Ooh, it's so cool. Look at this. Which, you, which one do you want? Stones, resin, or berries? Stones. Stones, stones go, wait. Actually, no, I, got one of the touch, I haven't touched the berries. Why is that money? Stones go here. Berries go here. Stones. Wood goes. Berries. Wood and resin. Wood. Resin. Oh, okay. the berries go. Yeah, we're gonna demo. 
cherries go here? Ooh, the resin's really satisfying. The resin reminds me of the, um, from, uh, now I'm not going to remember the game. Oh, shoot. Shuffle the forest cards. Something forge. Oh, here a little gummy, a tiny bit. Oh, forbidden candy. Oh, sh oh, forbidden candy. Uh, I want to chew on one. <laughs> so bad. Oh my Holy gosh, crap. It feels so good. I want, oh, I want. Can't, mm. <laughs> so these are a different material too. So they all have different like tactile oh feels to them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This oh, is awesome. Boy. ASMR the game. Alright, so it says shuffle the forest cards and place three or four randomly in the clearings and the, the numbers depending on how many how many people are playing. The woods right here? Yeah. Just, oh, just, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to... I just want to visualize what the board looks like when it's completed. We're not playing. One, there's not enough room to play here. Yeah, true. Am I in the shot? I'm probably straight. Wait, yeah, there is. <laughs> is um... There's enough room between the table. Is, um, is it, is our faces bad? Hmm? I think my face is in the shop. I don't care. Okay. I already swore, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm not doing another thing. Three. Shuffle no, four cards. Oh. When I was doing this? Only your chin. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't matter. <laughs> stones. We didn't do stones. Place the four basic event tiles along the river. And shuffle... Oh, these are satisfying. Stones. In the quarry. What the berries? I know. I know. Oh, they're like blueberries and pomegranates put together. Because they're kind of blueberry um, mm -hmm. shaped with the star at the top. But they're pink and they have little dots on the inside like a pomegranate. They're like not berries. Like magical. <laughs> Not real fruits. Excuse me. Can you put the circus tent like right in the, on the spot? Harvest festival? Yeah. And then this goes... Cartographer's expedition? I check and then shuffle the special event cards. Oh, it's a silica gel. I was like, what's in us? Special event cards and place four special events um, the ever tree. Okay, so you don't even need the entire deck. And so it goes. Pow. 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 And a pow. One viewer. That's fine. I don't care who's here. Um. There is no limit to the amount of resources a player may have during the game. If any resources run out, use something else as a substitute. Cat turds. Shuffle the main deck. Or in the basement. <laughs> Shuffle the main deck and place eight cards faced up in the meadow. <gasps> place the deck inside the tree. Where's the meadow? Right here. This. This gap. No, it's not the meadow. It says meadow. Oh, maybe meadow's right here. That's the basement. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So it goes pow pow. So it's like part deck builder, part part resource. This builders. is a little this is a little um um power grid. The things up. Mmm. <gasps> really? I love that. Instead of factories, they're locations or people, I think, right? Each player chooses a color and starts with two workers from that color. The first player will draw five cards, the second player six cards, the third player seven cards, the fourth player eight cards. Power grid with but 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 animals. Money. I I don't think well I don't think it has the price difference, the price changing the power grid. They're just piles, which is fine. Alright. Um we squirrelies. Well let's let's here, I wanna show the there are four players. I'm gonna show the camera. Oh, where they go? Underneath. Oh, I see it. Found it. I'm sorry, what is it? It's a hedgehog. Oh, he's cute. So there are brown hedgehogs, red, oh, amber looking squirrels, squiggles, fine. white rabbits, bunny. and what? You want a squirrel? Are they turtles? Yeah, they're Blue turtles. turtles. I'll be turtles if not. No, if you it's want to be fine. Squirrels. I'll be the hares. 
No, you can be squirrels. I'll be the hares. We're not even playing right now. Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> I'll be turtles. I just like bluish, greenish. Besides, I think I'd get confused with... Um... Well, you're only supposed to have two anyway. Oh, okay. Two oh, guys? Two? Why? Because that's what you start with. Mm. Do they all go here? Do they move? No, they just, put... just put them in your player zone, which we don't have because we're playing such a small surface. Just, just take your dudes. Just take your dudes. Nah, just give me the dudes. <laughs> give you all the dudes? Give me all the extra dudes. Keep your dudes. Oh, dudes. D O O D dude. Well, since we're apparently playing now, a new year begins. Within the charming valley of Everdell, beneath the boughs of towering trees, among meandering streams and mossy hollows, a civilization of forest critters is thriving and expanding. Ever since the famed adventurer Corin Evertail discovered the hidden realm long ago, the citizens have prospered under the shelter of the endearing Ever Tree. From Everfrost to Bellsong, many a year have come and gone, but the time has come for new territories to be settled and new cities established. You will be the leader of a group of critters intent on just such a task. There are buildings to construct, lively characters to meet, events to host, it will be a busy year. Will the sun shine brightest on your city before the winter moon rises? Mm -hmm. Prepare to be enchanted by the wondrous world of Everdell. Once you are here, you might never, ever want to leave. And then there's a poem. Poem. A poem. Everdell. Wandering the woods, gathering the stones, wearing in the path that leads to our home. Laying down the floors, raising up the walls, working through the days, winter through to fall. And we'll play down where the grass is thick, from, from the river drink. Sea stars come out to meet us, when all I need to do is be near to you, in the evening breeze by the ever tree. Farmer in the field, miner in the mud, king up in his castle with berry blue blood. Schoolhouse in a tree, chapel in a stream, we are side by side, building up our dream. Mm. And we'll lay down where the grass is thick from the river drink. Sea stars come out to meet us, when all I need to do is be here with you, neath the changing leaves of the ever tree. Overview, which I've already read the first paragraph of. In Everdell, you'll be deploying workers to various locations on the board in order to gather resources, which you will use to play cards face up in front of you, forming your own woodland city. That's why we can't play right now. I guess we can play. You can use that. I'll use the floor. <laughs> oh, we have, we have an area. We have to build it. Oh. Okay. I mean, you have the entire yeah. chair. Yeah. We'll figure it out. You may put okay. Each turn you will perform only one mm. of three possible actions. Place a worker. Play a card. Prepare for a season. You may place one of your workers on any location so long as it is not blocked by another player, unless the location allows for multiple workers. Immediately claim the listed resources or perform the action. To play a card, you must play the listed cost of resources. Cards may be played either from your hand or from the area of face-up cards in the meadow. If all of your workers are deployed, you may prepare for the next season by bringing back all of your workers, gaining a new worker, and performing the action described for the following season. A player is finished when they have played through the last sex season and cannot perform any more actions. After all players have finished, the player with the most points is the winner. The reviews did say this is a quick game. Let's get, let's get, let's get general store, general general store order. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, contents. Legend gain take listed resource or point tokens from the general supply. Pay pay listed resources from your supply into the general supply. Draw take a card from the top of the deck and add it to your hand. Reveal reveal cards from the deck for all players to see. Point token. Yeah, open them. Yeah. Oh, they go over there. Yeah. I like these are actually called pebbles, not stones, because we're tiny. Uh, end game points, card. These are just symbols. Twig, resin, pebble, berry, any resource. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's any resource? 
It's a, it looks like a basket with all the resources oh, in it. Oh, okay, cool. 